let's solve this equation by graphing. So I'm going to use two different colors. First graph I'm going to do in this lighter brown color. Remember this is in slope intercept form. So I'm going to solve this. This is your x-axis, that's your y-axis. I'm going to solve this by first graphing my y-intercept, which is negative one-half. That's my y-intercept, negative one-half, so that's right about there. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to use the slope rise over run. The rise is 5 and the run is 2. So when I go up 5, so I'm starting at 1 half, I'm going up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I'm at 4 and a half and I'm going over 2, 1, 2, that's the point right there. I can even label that point if I wanted to, 2 comma 4 and a half. Don't be afraid of fractions, they don't hurt. That's that's my two, these are my two points. One point is there, one point is there. I draw a line to connect those points, like so, and that's my line. I also draw it going the other way. So there's my line. I'm, I'm trying to draw it as carefully as possible because when you solve by graphing, you need to make sure that you're drawing it very carefully because you're trying to find where the two lines intersect. All right, the other line is going to be um, the uh, what color is that greenish color. So for this one, my y-intercept is negative five halves, which is negative two point five. So it's there's negative two point five right there. So that's that point and the slope is one half which means I go up one I rise one for every two that I run so when I rise one I'm gonna run two and there's my point right there that point if I, ru if I rose one um, I'm at one half on the Y I should say and I'm at two on the X so I ran two and I rose when I rose one I'm going to now graph this line like so. Whoops. Let's try it with a let's try it with an actual line. I've got this nice tool where I can draw a straight line, something like that. I'm also going to draw it the other way cuz that's where it's going to intersect. Mm. Boy, it's sure hard to tell, but it looks to me like they intersect if I drew this pretty close to being right. It looks to me like they intersect at negative one half. Let me erase some of this stuff. This point is negative one half, and down here is negative three. Doesn't it look like negative one half, comma negative three is the point where they intersect? Now, how can we check that? Plug in negative one half right there, and plug in three right here. Sorry, negative three right there and see if that works in both equations negative one-half comma negative three let's see if we got lucky that would be I'm gonna do the work over here negative five fourths I plugged in negative negative one-half times five halves is negative five fourths minus one-half which is two fourths um, and that's going to be negative seven fourths, which is not what I thought it was going to be. So it's not, that's not the solution. Um, the, this problem may have said use your graphing calculator to find them, um, but I chose not to. Let's see if I can do it in a different way here. So I'm going to find out the, the best way to solve an equation is not by graphing. The best way to solve, especially when it's kind of a tough problem like that, the best way is by um, substitution or elimination. So I'm going to use substitution, and that means I'm going to plug, I'm going to set them equal to each other. That's what y equals, and that's also what y equals, so I'm going to set them equal to each other. 5 halves x minus 1 half equals 1 half x minus 5 halves. I'm going to show you a cool little trick here. It's called clearing the fraction. If I multiplied everything by 2, because that's what the least common denominator is, 
I would cancel out and I would just get 5x minus 1 equals 1x minus 5. All the fractions are gone and it's a lot easier to solve that equation now. Now I'm going to put the x's on the left side of the equation. So that's 4x and I'm going to put the 1 on the right side equals negative 4. Uh -huh, my answer, my lines just weren't drawn quite right. My answer looks like it's going to be x equals negative 1, and I bet y was negative 3. I bet it was negative 1, negative 3. Let's see if negative 1, negative 3 works. I think that's what it is. So again, when you're drawing graphs, you have to be careful. If you're off even just by a little bit, your graph's going to be different. But that's the, that looks like the solution. And let me check it now. I'm going to plug that in. Again, negative 1, plug it in there for x. That's a negative 5 halves. And a neg negative 5 halves minus 1 half is negative 6 halves, which is negative 3. Now let's check it in the other one. Negative 1 times 1 half is negative 1 half. Negative one half minus five halves is negative six halves, which is negative three. So that's my intersection point, negative one, negative three. So that was actually the point, negative one, negative three. That's how you solve by graphing.